My name is Marla. My name is Robert. My name is Tussie. He has cerebral palsy uh, and he's autistic. The cerebral palsy actually is minimal. He's left-sided affected. He has right-sided brain damage. He wore leg braces up until about three years ago, and Jesse's been in an operating room 13 times. The, the effects of autism, about the same time we started noticing that there was something wrong with him physically. The cerebral palsy, when we took him to the doctors and we suggested that there was something wrong, because he couldn't walk, right? He walked like, he staggered constantly. Our doctor said, well, let's wait till he's two, see what happens. By the time he was two, it actually was worse. But when that doctor told us, yes, he does have cerebral palsy, we just looked at each other and it was like over. <laughs> like I was just hit with a brick or something. I mean, it was it was horrible. I mean, this is my baby and, you know, he has this and what's going to happen, you know? It was really devastating. Caring for Jesse was so difficult in the first few years. Because he couldn't communicate, he he would get really frustrated with us. He didn't know, we didn't know what he wanted and he didn't know how to tell us what he wanted. I just knew there was more for him than what was happening. So when I heard that Ruth was gonna be on a show, and um, so I called my cousin and I called my neighbor and a group of us just got together and we decided we're gonna take Jesse and see what can happen. I was a Muslim for years, so I really didn't believe in Christ and I didn't believe in, in this healing stuff. So when she said that she was gonna take him to Cornerstone for a healing, I'm like, yeah, right, okay, yeah, go ahead, whatever, take him. While the service was going on, it was the strangest thing. He was little and he was sitting on my nephew's lap and I wasn't paying attention to him at all. I was watching what was going on and my nephew starts bumping me. He's like, look, look at Jesse. And I looked over and Jesse had crocodile tears dripping off of his face. And I said, Jesse, are you okay? And he shook his head that he was okay. And I said, what's the matter? And he just like shrugged up like he didn't know what was the matter. Well, his favorite character on TV that he watched was Barney. He loved Barney and he loved the color purple. So we're driving down Interstate 70 and a purple truck passes us. And all of a sudden he said, that's a purple truck, Daddy. We almost wrecked the, the van. Cause he, cause he, I mean, he spoke a complete sentence. He couldn't, he could never say anything before that. That's the healing. Something in his brain just finally clicked that said, you can talk if you want to, and it came out his mouth. It affected me uh, so much that I accepted, <laughs> I accepted <laughs> Christ as my Lord and Savior, and uh, my life has changed like a thousand percent. As years goes on, all that stuff dissipates. It's, it, it, he's, he's not doing a fourth of the stuff that he used to do. I mean, so, you know, I believe that the healing is continuing. Um, it's a blessing that Cornerstone Television is on TV because she saw the program and knew that, you know, you could go to Cornerstone to for a healing, you know, so Cornerstone is doing great things. I think... A word of encouragement for viewers is to not give up hope that God has a plan for all of us and we're not supposed to question it, which we all do. As humans, we do question. I, I can't even describe, you know, how it feels to know that there is so much out there. You just got to let God work and on his time. I got baptized on August 2nd, the, the youth group, it's a, 
is a church with kids. Play basketball, listen to Pastor Anthony, sing. I love Jesus because he loves me.